So, week two, same hands. Hopefully, I, you know, I'm not going to say um and uh too much like I did last video, but it's a learning curve. And already I've broken the rule where I was concentrating on mainline and I thought, yeah, let's double into some of the offshoots. So, I bought two lots off eBay. I have no idea what they are. Um, there was a there we go, I said it already. There was one small sort of picture, and I thought, right, it's cheap, I'll buy it, let's see what I've got. So obviously, I removed my address, that's always a good uh, pointer, and let's uh, go for it. So we've got a small parcel here, looks like it's got a good few Hot Wheels in. I'll get a, a knife, a nice uh, Stanley. And try not to cut my fingers off. Let's see what we've got. Like I said, I literally have no idea. So it'll be the first time I see these more or less than you do. So this is a June Daddy. That's pretty cool. And what's this from? Ah, last year, 2019. Don't have this one. That's pretty cool. I doubt I'm going to get any uh, treasure hunts. That would be great. Oh, what's this one? No, that's just packaging. What's this? That's pretty cool. Uh, Extreme. That's like an old one because I know this is uh, slightly different to how they are now. What's this one from? 2013. Wow. So we are getting old, uh, older. This looks like it uh, sort of raises up. It's pretty cool. What's this one? Oh, this looks more modern. This is Z Rod. Some sort of a drug car, maybe. And uh, this is from 2019. That's pretty cool with the red uh, trims. Oh, this one's uh, in bubble wrap. So obviously, it's not brand new. Let's see what this is. Get it open. That's pretty cool. It's got a sort of fleck on the base. Nice transparent wheels. What it says on it. Avant-garde. No idea what set or what year this is from, so I'll have to check online. Uh, what I have been using is uh, like a fan-based uh, Hot Wheels database because there doesn't seem to be an official one anywhere, or a phone app, or a checklist. But at least with the online sort of database, you can look for the name, and it'll give you a picture, so you know exactly what year, what set, which makes my life a lot easier when I'm going to sort of arrange them later down the line. Oh, another new one, uh, Power Rocket. Uh, what is this from? Oh, 2018. Oh, so it's a good uh, mixture of... Sort of uh, years I'm getting in this random box or par uh, parcel. Um, ah, yeah. So one thing I did remember uh, seeing or reading about is 2018, for some reason, they had this great idea of having a Hot Wheel a day. So there's minimum 365 mainline cars, which is insane. God knows how I'm going to sort of display them, because there's going to be hundreds and hundreds. Uh, oh, another loose one. Again, no idea what uh, this one is. Rupo X24. Well, it says 2018, so it's a, a newish one. It's not an old reprint or anything like that. Does that move? Maybe. Yep, yeah, up and down. I've got it stuck. Uh, oh, well, it's staying like that. And the last one, yep, from this is oh, Skull Shaker. Now, I've seen this one before online. There seems to be uh, lots of variations with uh, colour, sort of a guy inside. What year is this from? 2019. Oh, looks like it bobbles up and down. That's pretty cool. I like the uh, Funko Pop uh, Star Wars or Marvel ones where they're like bobbleheads. 
That seems pretty good, having got any uh, double so far, which I doubt at this stage. Now this bag, obviously I've opened it slightly to take the address off. These are all non-mainline, so these are all special uh, series, things like that. They're all different. Uh, this cost me £10 for a bag of random 10, and they're all different. The seller sort of promised. Uh, the other one I think was about three or four quid, which for what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. That's not bad, it's about 50p each. Uh, so let's see what we've got in here. Uh, what's this one? Oh, that's fancy uh, packaging. So the classic Flintstones uh, Flintmobile, as it calls it there. That's pretty cool. Let's see how many's in a set. No, from 2017 though. Um, that's pretty good. That was my cat, by the way, which I'm just going to move out of the way. Professional is you know, is key. What's this one? This looks quite ratty. Um, 2017. It's a good job I'm taking them out of the packaging. This is the Ice Shredder. So it's like um, toboggan, tobogganist from the Winter Olympics. Um, that was pretty cool. True fact, one of my uh, friends that I went to university with, uh, called John, also known as a uh, Canadian John, he was in Calgary where they uh, filmed uh, Cool Runnings in the 90s and he was part of some pin club or pin society. Uh, he was actually filmed in the crowd. Um, I haven't been able to see it yet because obviously he's going to be a lot younger because he's in his 30s, early 40s now, I presume. So it looks different, but it, that was his claim to fame. He was in Cool Runnings as an extra. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Mad, so I presume this is, you can see it there, from Mad Magazine. Not so much big here in the UK, but I know it was, oh, it still is huge in America. And I presume uh, Splitch is maybe a character or a comic from there. This is a 55 Chevy panel, and it's number four of five. And this is from 2017. Ah, oh, and it gives you all the uh, the ones that are available. The one I know mainly here in the UK is uh, Spy vs Spy because obviously they create video games, things like that. What's this one. This is a, a winter sort of base one called Diesel Duty. That's pretty cool with the. White wheels, obviously a fantasy car. Doesn't say what year because lovely sticker over the top. Maybe these uh, were imported, but it's uh, four of six, so it's good for you to get. Dig deep in here. Oh, Forza. So, as I said in my uh, first video, I do love video games. Uh, Forza. Fantastic series. Prefer the Horizon rather than the sort of mainline series. Uh, this is pretty cool. What's this one? An AMC Javelin AMX. I do like that one. Uh, this is from 2017. So I see a, a pattern here. They're all sort of from the same era. And that's six of six. Oh, Star Wars. Uh, Jakku. Obviously it's a fantasy car and it's 8 of 8. Again, I'm, I'm looking through my uh, camera so apologies if uh, I don't show everything. It's got an official seal. I know my friend who's in China at the moment uh, is obsessed with Star Wars so this would be right up his uh, alley in 2015. I'm not a massive fan of Star Wars to be honest. Uh, I was a little bit too young to get into the craze when it first came round. Oh look, uh, another Forza. It's a uh, 2009 Ford Focus RS. One of six, that's pretty cool. I like that one. What else have we got? Another Star Wars. This looks like from maybe uh, the animated sort of Clone Wars maybe. Again, I, I know nothing about Star Wars. Um, no idea what that is. Again, 
I, well, I, I presume it's going to be from the uh, same set, maybe. But I won't know until I free them out of the card. Another Star Wars. Yeah, this has definitely got to be uh, like the Clone Wars, stuff like that. I don't remember. Well, I, I kind of know who the characters are, but I, I don't know the names off the top of my head. That's probably what, Anakin or Luke or somebody. Pretty cool. So I got three of those. And what's this? Oh, another Forza. Cool. This is a 2013 SRT Viper. I like that one. That's nice, uh, sort of green. Ah. I got any more? Nope. Sorry if you're uh, listening with your headphones. As you can see, it's a glass desk, so it's going to show up all the uh, muck and junk that comes out of the packages. But uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty good blind bag. Uh, again, haven't got that many as such, so whatever I get, it's all going to be new to me. Uh, so if that's 7 and 10, so I'm officially at 40 now after two weeks. So I'll see where I go next. Uh, I think maybe eBay, to be honest, because that seems to be the cheaper option and more fun to get some uh, blind sort of boxes, bags. Because, uh, let's like say, new to me, so I find it interesting to see how, how many different sets there are, maybe, and all the variety. Uh, so, yeah, until uh, next week. Cheers, bye.